afternoon and welcome to our prayer service for this um, Thursday, March 26th. Our first reading is from Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from, me, from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it, and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give to your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict upon his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, Remember us, O Lord, as you favored your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favored your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adorned a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. And our gospel reading is from the Holy Gospel of St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The words that the Father gave to me, these words that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you did not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God. 
Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The only one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Holy Gospel according to John. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today's readings tell us about Moses. And I think what these writings all mean is that what did Moses' people do? They worshiped a false idol. And I think that even in the New Testament reading of John, I think he is word, he's, he's warning us to not accept idols in place of the living God. So let us all be mindful of the living God who loves us beyond compare, who redeems us, for we are all made in the image of this God of love. So let us be wary of the idols that pop in our own lives, which they do every day be that, you know, the idol of wealth or fame, or even the idol of our personal physical health. Let us turn to the one true and living God and worship him alone. And let us be mindful of Jesus' redeeming mission. So I ask that God bless you and restore your health and just love you. Let us know that we are all loved by our one and only God. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.